Oh yo 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 yo! What the hell? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> what is up, guys? This is Cobb, and welcome back, man, to a little bit of more Mechabellum action. What the hell did I just look at, man? This is round one. Okay, Aerial Specialist is what is being ran, for a little bit of passive voice for you there, by Dracol, who submitted today's replay. What the hell, man, did we just look at? The Rhino's also getting picked up as well. We just sold a turn one Tarantula, borrowed money, and our round one drop was double Phantom Ray. Holy crap, man. He's a man with a plan. Dude, he's insane. Dracol, dude, he's world-renowned for his insanity when it comes to just surfing rays. That's how he pilots the man. He just rides them like a goddamn surfboard. And we're going to get to see his ridiculous phantom ray spam come out in this video. It might even be, based on the screenshots that Dracol shared, a block. A... What would it be, man? Oh, crap. Whatever, dude. A cuboid of, of phantom rays, okay? I'm trying to think of, like, I'm trying to think... I'm trying to think of a good plural name, man, for the rays, but... Okay. Um, yeah, first round not going so hot, really. Max been able to absolutely clap the hell out of our cheeks. Not the greatest start in the world. We got, like, a hundred odd supply in the bank. At least our rhino maybe did a little bit of something over here, which, frankly, I forgot all about it. I'm out of practice recording, Mechabellum, as you might be able to tell. Too many other things just going on in life recently for me to even get round to record any videos, which sucks like crazy. If I uploaded like one video in like 10 days, that's just no good, man. We've got to get back in our game, you know what I'm saying? Oh. All right, man. Let me skip to the end of this round. Oh, God, it is the end of the round. I just rambled for the entire thing. All right, man, Dracol. Dracol, what are we looking at here, man? Some good equipable item. Some heavy armor. Some laser sights. Maybe that kind of action. Maybe? How was nobody picked when I just clearly saw somebody do something over here, like borrow money? Oh no, is the replay bugged? Oh bloody hell, no! Okay, 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 okay. I seem to have fixed the replay by just skipping ahead to round three, where we just picked up efficient tech research. We just sold our last tarantula. We've got a random hacker on the field. Don't know where that came from, but I guess it was a unit drop round last round. We picked hackers. Maybe? That's all I can think of. Looks like I might have to just skip around every now and then in this one just to get this working. I've been away so long, every replay I had in the backlog has gone out of date. So, just is what it is. But, none of that. Who gives a damn about any of that, man? Good old Dracol in the throngs of insanity, which he is, make no mistake about it, goes ahead, dumps more packs of Phantom Rays, and goes straight into burst mode as tech number one. Now, we're getting some pretty heavy Mustangs over here, man. They're gonna chew through the fang, uh, sorry, the crawlers here exceptionally quickly, and then begin to connect with just vociferous impact on these Phantom Rays. They're gonna begin to just chew through them exceptionally quickly. It looks like it's just not gonna be very good money round all over again, and frankly, the burst mode on the Phantom Rays missiles probably doing more harm than good uh, this round, and... Bloody hell, man. Dra Dracol. Dracol, we broke. Okay. I just want to report to you right now, man. Things aren't going so hot. Our stocks are looking like bloody Jaguar stocks right now. It's not looking so grand. Okay. we got to put a stop on this. we got to turn things around, man. Okay. Let's skip to the next round. <laughs> okay. Is round four looking to be working okay? Hopefully we're just going to dodge the bugs in this one. You know what? You guys already know ahead of time if there's going to be bugs in this, because frankly, I just won't upload the video if the replay is too bugged uh, to watch. But we go ahead and pick up the enhancement module. Armor comes out as the very next tech, as well as a couple of level upgrades. Uh, love that we're maintaining the symmetry here as well. Across these two packs of Phantom Rays, blue on either side. Lovely stuff, man. It's like the most important thing. Uh, we still have, oh, well, we had a little bit of supply still left to splash out with. We go ahead and dump that on the Defense Enhancement Mark 1. And here we go, man. Here we go. So, I mean, we're just, it's just a little bit of a mirror of the last round, to be honest. Just a little bit less stang power and a little bit more fang power uh, instead. We're also against a couple of level 1 phoenixes. I wonder if the armor enhancement on these is going to be enough to see us through here. The armor enhancement is quite cash efficient. Uh, on the Phantom Rays, 35% uh, additional HP, as well as the damage block effect. And so on the level 2 Rays, put something like 10k health. It's pretty good, man. It's pretty saucy. This could be this could be the turnaround right here, man. It's going to be incredible. It's going to be remarkable. Here we go. Get the Phoenixes dead instantly. Good times. The Crawler's going to buy us a little bit of time on the ground, at least. 
And with the armor enhancement, and none of the stangs actually- all, all the stangs are actually level 1. So they're gonna struggle remarkably to get any of these guys dead. It's actually- oh my god, these level 9- why is there just level 9 fangs here, dude? The AI has absolutely no mercy. So the stangs are barely doing anything, but the fangs actually just torture the hell out of all of the rays that we have still yet alive. Uh, that said, not the worst in terms of, uh, cash money this round. Not too bad, man. We're recovering. Ever so slightly. Okay. Let me actually see who goes ahead and takes the win uh, in this round. Green's looking like he's going pretty strong so far, but he's been wiped off the board, so he's kind of out of things. Uh, blue. Some high-level hackers. Stolen hackers from the AI as well. Tarantula action. Okay. Oh my god, look at Blue's money, dude. What is this? It's crazy as hell, he's still ain't done. He's got a few fangs left to kill, that's gonna be all, but... Nearly 800 supply on around 4-4 four, four Blue. Maybe he's a man to watch. Uh, is our chief rival. Is our goddamn Gary over here. And down he goes. And there's all that lovely, lovely, wonderful money. Coming in for blue. It would be good to have that strength. But alas. Dracol gonna make do without, man. He doesn't need that. He doesn't need none of that crude action. What am I even talking about anymore? <laughs> Alright, man. Oh, it's gonna be another unit drop round. Okay. So I have to just skip past the unit drop rounds. Because they're just bugged out in this replay. If it's only the unit drop rounds that we're missing, that's fine. I mean, we already know what Dracol's gonna do anyway. Right? He's just gonna spam by Phantom Rays every single round. Not gonna harm us too much to just skip onto a round six. Okay. <laughs> oh god. A replay's never been so bugged where I've had to do this before. Um, in my defense here. This is kinda nuts. Oh my god, second efficient tech research come out that uh, comes out. Are we even gonna make our money back from that if all we're buying? <laughs> if all we're buying is more Phantom Rays? <laughs> I mean, we already purchased two of the techs as well. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we just break even there. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, alright, alright, alright. Pretty funny stuff, but still. Phantom Ray is becoming... I'm tempted to say trapezoid, but it's more because I want to say the word trapezoid. This isn't a trapezoid, man. Not unless we're going to include the crawlers in this as well. And just, yeah. I just want to say the word, man. It's fun to say, okay? It's an oblong of units in the middle of the pack just now. What level are these suckers over here? Level 6 wasps is coming out of nowhere. Honestly, the best mode on the Phantom Rays is actually just bad. Unless you're very specifically building the Phantom Rays to be like a big unit assassin. Otherwise, you're just slowing the rate of fire by a lot. <laughs> and it's just really, really terrible. Uh, okay, have we spent everything? We're actually dead last right now. Which is kind of curious because... Um, I'd say spoilers, but is it really a spoiler? Whatever, man. Dracol shared three replays using this strategy in a row in the uh, Mechabellum Discord share your replay channel. Just wiping the floor with everybody. So maybe this is normal to just fall this far behind. But then as the game goes on, somehow it just starts working. It doesn't make any sense to me because like Phantom Race is like quite a fast. Oh my God, dude. Holy crap. Okay, I mean, that looked absolutely glorious. The higher level wasps as well are just gonna get it. Right in the stinger. Ooh. Okay, man. Stingers are being accosted just now. There's a euphemism in there somewhere, but it's all good. Overlords, only level one, so as soon as they get connected on, they're going to absolutely... Just turn into... I don't even know what. I'm out of metaphors. It's been a long day, okay? Tower fit to go down. I think we might have had that one stolen from us. I'm not quite sure about that. Oh, no, our money's looking good. We must have got it. We are going to have the left side tower stolen from us, but here we go, man. So we're left with one little pack on the far left side up against Stangs. They have armor against these guys, so there's no way in hell these guys should lose that trade. That said, let's go ahead and follow the pack that veered off to the right side, who then decide to just split in twin once again, where they're going to eventually clash with some pretty leveled marksmen over here at the back. Along with hacker shields to protect against them. They can crack through the hacker shields very, very quickly, but I think they're just going to get a little bit too hung up hitting useless crap on the ground before they're able to turn around and take out these maxman boys. That's it, man. On our left side, we actually have the biggest pile of nerds. Just pile driving the hell out of the Pua Pua uh, Sabertooth down there on the bottom right. All of our army is dead on the right side, so here we go, man. 
Can they crack through all of these wasp chaff in time to bring down the overlords at least? One thing's for sure, we've earned a hell of a lot of experience on all of these phantom rays this round indeed. And so... Ooh. Down we go. We're not quite able to take down the last one as well, but I guess it doesn't really matter at that point. The Maxmen are going to kind of come in and take care of business now. It feels like Blue is by far our biggest rival. Look at how much money Blue is earning, man. He is insanely rich. Crap load of levels on these Maxmen as well. He can go into Elite Maxmen next round. He's also got the Fangs with Barrier ready to go, so can also go Best Partner. Oh my god. Like, Blue is horrifying. We've got to hope that somebody else deals with Blue for us. Uh, more than anything, because frankly, I don't think that we stand a goddamn chance against these guys, man. I don't think we stand a goddamn chance uh, with this, with this like, army loadout against what Blue has going on. Once again, we're just not going to get to see the reinforcement round here, but ugh. let me just uh, real quick see if I can restart this round and we can get that going. All right, screw it, man. A TLDR is whatever we bought last round in round seven on the unit drop round, we sold instantly. Skipping ahead to round eight, man, where we pick up advanced targeting system. And now I think we're out of unit drop rounds, and so I won't have to skip any more rounds in this one. Little bit scuffed for my return to uh, casting some Mechabellum games here, man. But I really, really did want to cast one of Dracols, just because this is such a bold, you know, big nut uh, strategy that it just deserved to be cast, frankly. We're actually packing quite a lot of uh, rank 4 Phantom Rays at this point. We're going to borrow more cash. Curiously, we're not going to Elite Recruit. We're just going to Triple Recruit level 1 Rays. I wonder if that's because we're going to go Energy Shield uh, and we're like planning ahead for that just a little bit and at least the level 1 Phantom Rays with Energy Shield will take two Maxman shots to take down. So maybe we're just going for like numbers over anything. We're just going for a swarm, a school of Rays, you might even say. Is that plural, man? For like a bunch of like rays in the ocean, you know, like stingrays and stuff. Are they? Do they count as a school, or are they like a flutter, or a flock, or a undulation? <laughs> Not quite sure what the plural is, man, for stingrays, but I'm searching for that word after I'm done watching this replay because that's going to be the plural for phantom rays. Screw it. Who am I fooling, man? Pause. I'm going to check it right now. Oh my god. A group of stingrays is called a fever. This term is used to describe a large gatherings of stingrays, such as when they migrate or breed, which I hope is not going on over here, man. I'm trying to keep it G-rated over here, man. You know what I'm saying? Like the Manta Roy, Count Royce, can migrate in groups of up to 10,000. Okay. A fever of phantom rays, man. Ooh. As someone who was just sick recently, I don't think I like that plural, man. I'm gonna go with a flutter. Sounds a lot better, man, to me. You know what I'm saying, man? Flutter or fever? What do you guys think, man? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> okay, but we're getting wrapped around on just a little bit over here, so that's going to be a huge, huge pain in our rear, literally, uh, in this case. Meanwhile, uh, we begin to collide with enemy forces on the far right side against fully upgraded Maxman coming out from yellow. Oh my god. That's quite terrifying, given our building is about to die. There it goes, and as soon as it does, these Maxmen are going to have a field day against our poor fever fine of Riz. Meanwhile, on the far left side, it looks like just the numbers advantage is starting to come into effect over here, and this time we're going to absolutely butcher the hell out of just the uh, the swarm of uh, Overlord and Wasp-creating wasp Overlords over there on that far side. Meanwhile, our right side army, not going to fare so hot against these big boy Maxmen. But okay, man, we still have a decent little pod Left. Uh, what am I going with here, man? Flutter, pod, flock, fever. I don't even know anymore, man. Pod, they're dolphins now, okay? <laughs> We're gonna send the Phantom Rays. Take out the goddamn overlords on this far side. These are super, super high leveled overlords. Does it matter? Not with the goddamn base fire missiles. It certainly does not. Oh, God, until our building dies at least on the back line. Then it's pretty terrible. We're gonna take some pretty significant losses here just now. At least the building just died here. Oh, this isn't Blue's Overlord, though. Okay. So we're still just taking a huge smack to the face. Green also has... Oh, my God, dude. Everyone's just conspiring against us, dude. Green and his Aerial Specialization Wasp's going to put up quite the fight. Until they're at least all completely tortured uh, just now. Some nerds turn around, take care of the Stangs. That's grand. And as long as the Maximum and the Wasps are killing each other and are distracted by each other, that's only going to work to our benefit as we come swooping in from the side like literally King Theoden. And it looks like it's all going to end grand, man. It's actually going to be our first win. Well, it's not. It's just I've had to skip a few rounds in this game, so the rounds that we've won I just happened to skip, I suppose. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, we are, we are, we are going to win. 
little bit sketchy there for a second, man. You can't underestimate those wasps. Armand, Armand, Armand. No unit selection rounds anymore. What reinforcements are we picking up all up in here? People are thinking about it long and hard. Wait. No! Don't tell me I've got to skip this round as well. That's just ridiculous. No, I refuse, man. I'm not doing it. We're just going to check this round no matter what. I have no idea what reinforcements have been picked, but people are doing things over here already. So, like, obviously picks have come out. We just don't get to see them. We do see the mass shield come out just now on the Phantom Rays as well. Ah, right, man. Let's just roll with it. You know what I'm saying? Sweet, sweet, sweet. Mass levels come out. I had a pause recording just real quick there to cough. <laughs> Throat still isn't fully recovered, man, from being sick, but it is what it is. Okay. How much money do we have? 400 supply left after those mass shield upgrades. Mass level upgrades. We also go into increased defense. Shields coming down. That leaves us with one pence. One seashell left. And our entire war chest. I'm getting a flanked round on again. I love how we answer with the shield here instead of just getting a little bit of building health. I think the building health would have probably been a lot more economic, but... Okay. All of that said, who gives a damn? Wow, look at how left-leaning... Not in the liberal sense, but left-leaning Green's army is. He's actually a mile away from us, man. But okay. Here we go again. I think I'm more interested in this little battle over here than the right side, where we probably going to get mowed down by uh, Electromag Maxman all over again. But here we go, man. Especially with the building being dead. Ooh, this could be really, really painful. This could really, really sting our rays. It was almost a pun. <laughs> Close enough. It counts, okay? All right, man. We're actually holding up pretty good. Just the tankiness and the barriers. I mean, he's rank for uh, Phantom Rays. 24,000 health. Double that because of the barrier. Pretty goddamn chonky. But we are being just kind of uh, just waded through eventually. By just the mass damage from the wasps coming in. We got a little bit mulched on the far side as well. Be interesting to see how out of sync our viewing experience is with the replay at this point. Um... I just want to kind of keep track of where our points lie, and then I'm going to reload round 10, once uh, round 10 is, well, done loading up. So right now we're on 4,362 points. I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead to round 10. 4,362. So apparently we won last round. Oh, for God's sake, this replay is an absolute disaster. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, scrap, I'm just going to upload it anyway, man. I'm just going to upload it anyway. It's been one of those days... You know, it's been one of those days. Another good old 12-hour shift. I'm delirious at this point, all right? Still got the gym to go to after this. Oh, God. What the hell do I even... Why do, why do I do this to myself, man? Anyways, man. Mass rank 5 Phantom Rays now all in the mix. Sadly, a few of them stuck just to the rank 4. But even still, um, our boys, for the most part, rocking just a stupid, stupid, stupid amount of health. Apparently, we won last round. I guess this is our Iron Blast coming out here just to help us try and take the dub. Against these big experimental fortresses, this 600,000 health experimental fortress is going to be chief among our adversaries. And it looks like also blue coming out of left field here with the old ion blast trying to steal a win right at the very end. Oh my god. Dracol. The rays are migrating, man. They're migrating. For mating season on the far left flank. Here we go, dude. So a bunch of the weaker nerds at the back are going to just fly forwards and die a horrible, painful death. Screaming, really. There's nothing we can really do about that. But just sing a happy little tune as we all migrate off to the west, I guess. Just to drown out, drown out the screams of pain coming from the back line that's going to be left behind. Once again, yellow just hits our guts. Dude, everyone's doing everything they can to try and counter this, man. Which is why I kind of respect this replay, man. This is pretty tight. Look at the Ion Blast, man. It's just, it's just like painting the rays slightly. Ooh. The big boy might be about to push into us here. Oh my god, though, the building dies exceptionally quickly. Both buildings go down exceptionally quickly. And now suddenly, what the hell? The fortress just doesn't give a damn. It's off to, the, it's off to just get on to the next thing now. Like a goddamn jilted lover, it's off to go and knock on someone else's dough. You know what I'm saying? But look at this, man. The Phantom Rays are just heading him off at the pass. And now we fit to get the one shot on this big guy, right? We should just do copious amounts of damage to that. Look at the flurry of missiles, man. 
just absolutely pulverizing the hell out of the big boy fort. Many of the fortress is going to veer off to the right side now just to bother the maximum, and those missiles are going to clobber those maximum exceptionally quickly. Suddenly, we've only really got green and blue and his crazy uh, big boy maximum to worry about and the anti-air wasps that are getting pumped out of these overlords still at this point. A lot of our rays have been kind of left behind. They're just going to be out of the gene pool. They are not gathering up for mating season. But when it's mating season, that's when the predators show up, man. The overlords on field, they can smell ray meat. And it's up to the rays to just flock of seagulls, these guys. Strength in numbers. Swarm them like a bunch of bees taking out an invasive hornet in the hive. And they're going to be able to put down the last of the goddamn overlords. What's with the animal references in this bit? <laughs> okay, man. Last of the oh my god, it's a rank seven overlord. Gets absolutely just obliterated. The furies of missiles is way way too much to deal with. And look at all of the AI that's left, man. These are all just like mass produced units and stuff, so they're not going to give any points. But look at this. We're able to hold on to the lead by no, no. We're not winning this by three points. We're not winning this by three points, man. All these just mass-produced fangs that have been, like, produced by another unit, they're not going to give us any points. We're going to win this by three points. Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't know if that's how the original replay went. I'm just going to imagine that it did. But you know what? I'm also going to imagine that Dracol had it all along. Okay, fine. Yeah, we get some points from the units at the end. In my mind, we just won that by three stinking points, man. Incredible. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. And you know what? Like I say, man, just meta strategy, man. Just play this in free fall. You just win everything, according to Dracol. Not me, man. Don't blame me if you lose, okay? Dracol, the one claiming to have like a 100% win rate with this in the official Mechabellum Discord. His words exactly. All right? Not really. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you also did enjoy this one, man. If you want a chance of one of your replays getting featured on the channel, make sure to keep them coming in the official Mechabellum Discord in the Share Your Replay channel. And there's a reasonable, increasingly diminished chance, apparently, that I'll get to covering uh, them over here on this channel just based on what free time I have. But I do do my best. And, um, yeah. Enjoy the rest of your night. I'm going to catch all of you all just a tad bit later, man.